<laughs> Yo, what is going on, everybody? I am your host, Slack, as Gabe, and bringing you our next matchup in the Fighter Pass tournament. So, uh, if you're new and you're stumbling across this for the first time, real quick, just to let you guys know what this is, it's a tournament that I, I created of 32 characters that are not represented in Smash Bros. in any way, so they have a potential to be DLC character in the Fighter Pass. So, uh, we put them into a tournament, and then each day I upload a matchup from the tournament, and then we vote between the two characters who we'd rather see as a DLC character for Smash Ultimate. Uh, one vote per person. Uh, you either vote for character A or character B, or if you absolutely want both characters, you are allowed to vote for both, but one or one vote per person, and you vote down in the comments by simply typing the name of one or the other. So, um... Yeah, if they're, it's a double elimination tournament, so a character has to lose twice before they're eliminated. So if you lose, you drop to the loser bracket. You lose from there, you're done. Simple, right? If the uh, the voting ends up uh, ever ending in a tie, I'll flip a co uh, coin on camera. You guys will see that. That'll break the tie. Hopefully that never happens. Fingers crossed. Uh, but, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much uh, the gist of it. So uh, let's get into it. So we got to show you the results of last week's matchup, which was... Um, Steve from Minecraft taking on Leon Kennedy from the Resident Evil series, and uh, I was interested to see how this would work because, you know, St uh, you bring up Steve and you're going to get people that are like, nope, no thank you, or you're going to get people that are like, yeah, he was awesome. So I'm always interested to see how Steve, you know, plays in this tournament, and uh, well, the results, not... I mean, they 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 weren't terrible. I'll be honest, they weren't terrible. Steve lost. But Leon wins, thirty five votes to nineteen. So congrats to Leon to move to the next round. But Steve is not eliminated; just drops to the loser bracket. Thirty five to nineteen isn't that bad, honestly. I mean, it's only what like sixteen votes. So I mean, that's still kind of a big number of votes for this tournament, but it's not terrible. He definitely had some support. So uh, we're about to jump into the matchup for today. Uh, which is Master Chief taking on Geralt, and I accidentally recorded this on Monday. How did I accidentally record this? I got my matches mixed up, so I'm about to cut to that, uh, what I recorded on Monday, so you're going to see some weird little cut here in just a second, but um, I go over everything pretty well, and I show you why I think Master Chief was kind of deconfirmed, and it, I still make a good case for him, still make a case for Geralt, I still vote, and give my vote at the end, but that is it for this one, so let me cut right to, I guess, Master Chief against Geralt. Let's jump into this matchup. So first of all, um, I'm going to start with Geralt, but I want to kind of... No, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll get, I'll get to it in a second. So Geralt, uh, he's from... Actually, you know what? Yeah, let, let me start here. Let me start here. So Geralt from The Witcher. Um, somebody has been pointing out in the comments, and I want to touch on this. Geralt is actually... The Witcher, it's, it's not a uh, video game series. It originated in uh, books. Um, you know, what you read, duh. But that, it originated from, you know, sh these short stories, and then it kind of grew into, I think somebody, I think I was reading there's a film. I know there's a Netflix series that is starting, is it this year or next year or something? Henry Cavill, you know, Superman, he's becoming uh, Geralt from The Witcher, and that's coming out sometime. I don't know the exact date. But, so, I guess Geralt isn't t necessarily a video game character, because he originated from... A book but I don't think I okay somebody's got to correct me and if you correct me please give me a link because this has kind of been debated and when it gets brought up I never see any actual proof of this but from what I know Sakurai has said that there's no anime characters anime characters will not have a chance I think what I'm about to say this is kind of more of a fan rule than anything that if you didn't originate from a video game, you don't have a chance. Again, if I'm wrong, please let me know. Please give me a link to something that proves otherwise. But just because, I mean, somebody's going to bring up Goku, right? But Goku's anime and Sakurai said no, that's not going to happen. So I kind of think Geralt's slightly different. You know, he's in a different category than Goku. I don't want to go down that road. But let me just jump into Goku. <sighs> Goku. Let me jump into <laughs> No, don't. No, we're not talking about Goku. We're going to talk about uh, Geralt from The Witcher. So, um, oh, back to what I was just showing. So, somebody, w um, a couple of people are wondering uh, how would he work. So, I kind of got this thing from what uh, the Witcher wiki 
page. So here's just kind of a simple breakdown of how his move set could potentially work. So he's kind of like a, a swords wielder. Yes, he wields swords, but he's got these things called like these signs. They're kind of like magic abilities, and a few of them here that you could incorporate to a move set. So um, would be I'm not going to try to pronounce these because I'll probably pronounce them wrong. But uh, tel telekinetic wave that can throw back or knock down. Or stun an opponent. You could definitely put that somehow into a move set. You got um, Yurden. Uh, probably didn't say that right, but it's a magical trap that gets placed on the ground. Awesome way to you know set up potential combos or something like that. I don't know. Um, you got Igni. I think that might be it. But it's a gush of flames that wounds the opponent. So you know, I think a flames kind of maybe coming out surrounding the opponent dealing maybe kind of damage over time if they stand in the flame or maybe the flame has knockback whatever it is so you got a bunch of kind of uh cool um magic abilities that you can also put in with the sword ability so that that's kind of how you know move set wise you would kind of work so Geralt uh definitely from a popular series the witcher um witcher 3 sold extremely well i was reading that the witcher series overall has sold over 33 million copies. Not just Witcher 3, but the whole entire series has sold over 33 million copies. So, a very popular, big game. This was kind of like the first big, real, uh, yeah, kind of real big first third-party game that kind of came out. Um, everybody was super excited about it. Um, it was the first Witcher game I ever played. I never beat the game, but I had fun with what I did play. Another thing that came out from the Witcher game, uh, Witcher 3 at least, was card game Gwent. Are we going to go here? No. Um, arrow, hello. Alright, well, we're going to try that again. Um, okay, there we go. Uh, it's, being, it's being stupid. Alright, but, uh, so, um, a cool thing that came from The Witcher 3 was the card game Gwent. It actually got its own kind of, was it, is it a mobile game? Did it come out on consoles? I don't quite remember. I remember playing Gwent in The Witcher 3 game, and I think maybe somehow incorporating the cards into his moveset would be extremely unique and very fun for a character. We don't kind of have anything like that. I don't know if you like pull out a card and maybe summon one of like the uh, the, the monsters, what the whatever the cards are, you know. Summon something from the cards and it comes out and does a quick little effect or something like that. That would be pretty cool. Or maybe make it a part of his taunt where he just maybe holds up a deck of Gwent cards. That would be pretty cool too because uh, Gwent really kind of spun off into its own thing and that did pretty well uh, for itself, so it kind of a lot of cool things you can do with Geralt here for move set wise and all sorts of stuff. A lot of potential. And plus, um, first picture I showed, he has been he's crossed over into fighting games. He's in Soul Calibur six, so I mean he he can he can throw down. He could fight if he has to. I mean he does it in his own game, does it in Soul Calibur. So that'd be pretty cool to see. You know, big name character from a big name series. I think uh, could it could could be a a possible character that you gotta maybe take into consideration again let me know if i'm wrong about that and if i am show me some sort of link to something that says you know characters that originated or characters that didn't originate in games cannot be in smash bros as playable show me something where it says that otherwise i'm just going to continue believing what i believe but uh let's move on to Geralt's opponent the loser of the early results master chief now, I gotta bring up something with Master Chief as well. So, last week when I was doing Agumon and Master Chief, I did say that Master Chief was confirmed, and not, or deconfirmed, sorry, deconfirmed. And there's quite a few comments that were like, what do you mean Master Chief is deconfirmed? So, here's what I got. So, uh, I should have shown this last week, but showing it now. Frank O'Connor uh, tweeted out, Master Chief is not, is... Master Chief is not is Smash DLC. All right, great wording. Although I did just download Smash. Um, goes on to say he's going to button mash kind of, you know, Street Fighter style. So who's Frank O'Connor, you might be asking? Well, here's his wiki page. Frank O'Connor is also known as Frankie. He is the franchise development director for the Halo series at 343 Industries. This is a pretty big name pretty big guy over at uh, 343 so if he's gonna if anyone's gonna know about uh, Master Chief potentially being a smash this is probably one of the characters or <laughs> characters probably gonna be one of the people that would know about it then again to be fair we don't have the the fully known you know all five characters for the DLC so is it possible that um, say uh, Phil Spencer from Microsoft 
and somebody and, and Nintendo. Is it possible they came up with an agreement to make this happen? Absolutely, it's still possible. And you know, they just haven't worked on the character yet. They don't have the model. They don't have you know any moves. They don't have nothing. You know, as of right now. So maybe. They could have struck a deal, but once the development would start on Master Chief, then they could bring in, you know, um, Frank or people from 343 to work kind of with Nintendo on how they want the character to look, how they want the character to play. They want to make sure Master Chief fits perfectly, you know, it wants to feel like Master Chief. I still think this is kind of a possibility. Yeah, you you might be saying, oh no, Master Chief is not in the game, not going to be uh, DLC in Smash. Well, you're not going to come right out and say, yeah, he's you know, he's in the fighter pass. Yeah, confirmed right now. No, you're going to get in a lot of trouble if that were to happen. So maybe just kind of throwing that out there. One, maybe he doesn't know. It could be a possibility. Or two, he's just trying to throw people off the scent and make it a huge surprise eventually. Eventually. That'd be so epic. That'd be awesome. But uh, Master Chief, move set is easy. You got all sorts of awesome weapons from the game. You got, I mean, not just not just shooting weapons. I mean, you got gravity hammer. You got like the energy sword. You got plasma grenades. You could maybe potentially, uh, you know, he's got like bubble shields. He's got, you know, I don't know. He punches the ground. So he's got a lot of cool abilities. You could put the, somehow work in the uh, the vehicles like a ghost or a banshee or the warthog. You can put that into his move set. Jetpack. There's a lot of things you can do with Master Chief to still make him feel like he is Master Chief, and to fit with Smash Bros. as well. I, I come on, Master Chief. If you're if you're gaming, if you're a game fan, why would you not want to see Master Chief in Smash Bros. Just duke it out with the likes of Mario and Cloud and Link and and Sonic and Mega Man and Donkey Kong and Pikachu. All these huge gaming characters just put into one game. And just have fun with whatever. I, I mean, as a gaming fan, that's that gets me right here. That's that's what I that's what I love about Smash. That's what it brings to the table. That's what it does better than like any anybody else, right? Smash Bros. is the king of these mascot party brawler type games for a reason. They have the first party characters to fill out a huge roster, and they have a big enough name where they can draw in these big iconic third party gaming. Uh, legends as well. So, Master Chief, does he work in Smash? I think you can get him to work. I really do. Um, but, uh, d will it happen? I don't know. Right now, signs kind of point to potentially no, which sucks. But again, this is a character where, or this is a tournament where we vote for which character we would rather have as a DLC character in Smash Ultimate. So, between these two, while I definitely recognize Geralt. Um, is for originally from a book. I'm not gonna let that persuade my voting at all. I really, I really like the potential Geralt has for a move set. Honestly, I think Sakurai could really come up with some awesome stuff for him. But for me, I'm voting Master Chief. I know last week when I was voting Master Chief and Agumon, I said Agumon because I couldn't wrap my head around him being deconfirmed. I kind of thought about it a bit more. One, this is a tournament to vote for who we who we'd rather see. So Master Chief gets my vote. For this matchup, easily. Uh, although I still, th like I said, I think Geralt would make an awesome character. But that is pretty much going to be it for this one. So the only question left is who you're going to vote for. Again, type down in the comments either Master Chief or Geralt or her. If you really, 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 really want both, you can type in both and vote for both. But anyway, that is going to be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed as usual. Uh, I look forward to the voting and hopefully we catch you guys on the next one. Peace out, everybody.